let's say you have some instrumentals, some beats that you did on another piece of hardware, software, or on your MPC previously, and you want to bring it into your MPC live. I'm going to show you how to do that and how to drop it on an audio track. All right, this is only for people who don't know how to do this and people who don't have an MPC live in their hand yet, but they have one on order or intend to buy one. All right, I'm going to start with an empty project. Now, MPC live allows you to pull data from um, external storage. So you can use an SD card, which I have in SD. You can use... Um, Plug things into your USB slots, external hard drives, flash drives, things like that. So I'm going with an SD card that I have put in there. And I have some instrumentals on there somewhere. So I'm going to, as you see, I just turned this on. You guys saw it turn on. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going with my base, basic default program project sequence track program and um i'm going to go to my menu first i'm going to pull an instrumental in menu then i'm going up here to browser right there then i'm going over to places and places is going to give you options to pull information from anything that is internal or external that stores your information on the MPC Live. And we're talking about sounds. All right. And you got your internal hard drive. It does have an internal hard drive. I have, I have my SD card, which is a Zoom SD, which I took out of my H6. Um, MPC documents, clips, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go with my Zoom SD. Because I want to pull something off of that SD card. Alright, now I have two options. I can scroll through here with my finger. Or I can use my uh, encoder wheel. Slash data wheel. And I can scroll with that. So I can scroll down and click on it. Like that. But I'm just going to go back. And the way you go back, if you get lost on this thing, is just like on a computer, a Windows computer, you hit back. So I'm going to go through with my finger here. All right, and I'm going to go to Project 001 folder. Got audio. And I got some WAV files. Now, what I like to do, I don't want to have to click more than I need to. I'm going to hit Audition. And that's going to automatically play anything that I select or I highlight. So, come on, get in there. Audition, there we go. Things are complicated sometimes, iPhone. All right, so anything I click, I should audition it. Okay, and you can see that that's working. Everything I click, All right, so we're gonna go with that one, Clean. That's a song I did a couple years ago. This is um, instrumental for it. So what I wanna do, I wanna bring that into my MPC Live. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down here and hit Load. Load. Now it's in, it just blinked, that was it. All right, so I'm gonna go to Main. Brings me back to my project window. And I'm gonna go to Audio, cause I wanna make an audio track. All right, so we just bought um, a wave file in. Where did it go? Here's what we do. I'm going to hit audio. I'm going to go to edit audio. It's not in there. So I'm going to go to browse samples. Because, and boom, there's clean. Because that's the only thing we've loaded up so far. It brought it in as a sample. So there's clean. I'm going to hit do it. Do it, do it, do it. And there it is. So, there's my sound. And 
Well, my wave file anyway. So I got a wave file in. And I'm going to hit play. All right, and it's looping. Now, of course, I can go back to my track and stretch the track out and change the timing by going up here. I'm going to bars. Bars. Now I can double click bars. And I can go, because I said I'm just going to use my finger instead of using the data wheel and coder wheel thing. I'm going to click here. Let's make it four bars. I'm going to hit do it, do it, do it. All right, so now I'm going to hit play again. Well, we got five bars. How do I get five? I'm trying to get four. All right, we got four bars. Do it, do it, do it. All right, so now it's, it's rolling at four bars. So that's how you do it. Now you got your audio track. I'm going to go back to main, and I'm going to go to track view. Track view, I got my first MIDI track, which would be my drums, stuff like that, whatever, if I had put them there. But we started with an audio track. So obviously there's no meters running up here, but my first audio track, there's my level. We just bought a sample in and threw it onto an audio track. And from there, you hit your boom, plus sign, add some more audio tracks and start laying your vocals. So that's how it's done. All right, peace.